What is going on guys? In today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm super, 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 super excited. We got the Apex ARC or ARC 8s for my E36 M3. They're like the most go-to basic wheels that you could ever get for this car. They look so good on them. They're honestly like these, I've wanted these wheels since like 2016. Patrick and Mike have been telling me for the longest time to put these on the F30 back when I had it and I was going to, but I ended up going a different route. I don't know why I did that. I think it was because of money. Yeah, it's because of money, bro. So now that I'm, you know, a little bit financially better, I was able to pick up these Apexes, brand new from Apex. So they're 17 by nine ET30. It's a go-to setup for these E36 M3s. And we're gonna be running a 245 40 17 tire. Um, it's a nice meaty setup. I'm gonna show you guys how it looked when they mounted like, the tire on. So the shop I went to actually uh, put plastic pieces here. So while they're mounting it, they wouldn't scratch my wheels. Cause that was like my biggest concern was them scratching like wheels that I've wanted for such a long time. These are like definitely like on my list of like wheels that I've always wanted. So look how nice they look, man. Look at the concave. They look so nice. So I got them finished or I got them in the finish of Hyper Silver. Very, very go-to basic setup for these cars. I, the reason why I wanted them, not because everybody has them. Um, I don't care if everybody has them. I just know that I like them. And also that they're like the best bang for the buck wheel. Like for what they cost, for their customer service and Apex being the company that they are and then how light they are and how sturdy and durable they are, they, you can't beat the price. And plus you have looks on top of it too. These look like OEM wheels. Like honestly, they look so sick. I'm not trying to show the M3 that much right now because I know you guys can kind of see a little bit on the camera. I'm not trying to show it right now because then it ruins my next video which is putting the M3 back together. And I want you guys to see that. I know if some of you have seen it on Instagram of my really cool cinematic video with my new Ronin M. In this video, I'm just gonna give you a snippet of the next video of how it looks putting it on. I'm not really gonna show lowering it because I don't know, I just don't want you guys to see everything. I don't want to spill the whole beans. This is just an update vlog really fast what's going on with the M3 and with these new wheels. I really wanted to talk about it because bruh, these are so fire and I'm so freaking hyped. Like, look at them. So I love the finish on these. So these are all Continentals, but these are Continental Extreme Contacts, DWSs. So these are actually really good tires. They say that these are comparable to Michelin Pilot Supersports in terms of price and also in terms of performance. I keep hearing praises about how these tires perform and how they perform in the rain. I feel like that's really important for me considering that, you know, I just got this car back and I did, you know, crash it and I didn't crash it bugging out or anything. I just crashed it and I, I want to have more confidence in the rain because I feel like, I, I mean, I, I don't even think I'm going to drive this in the rain. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Just ignore everything I'm saying. But I'm just saying these tires are really good in the rain as well if I do ever get caught in the rain driving home. Um, and then the fronts are just regular Conti Pro contacts, um, also Continentals. The reason, if you're wondering why I went with two different tires that I didn't get all four the same. Well, first of all, because of money. Second of all, these tires in the front, which I'm gonna rock the extreme contacts, they're very expensive, brand new. And finding them used is already such a hassle. And this guy barely used them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these tires are in literal brand new condition almost they only have a thousand miles on them and you can tell by the tread so they're really really good tires I got them for a hundred bucks from Philadelphia I drove all the way down and picked them up and so that same day when I went to go mount the wheels I bought just regular Conti pros because I know those tires are good they're like the best go-to basic tire and those also have decent tread so in today's video we're gonna be having the shop owner Euro uh, mount the wheels onto the car and then uh, basically it'll be a nice satisfying reveal of seeing how these ugly contours come off my car and the apexes go on. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's get right down to it and let's put on the wheels. God, guys, I hope you guys enjoy that little cinematic clip, but damn, this shit looks amazing. We just literally did nothing. We just put the wheels on and it's like A1. Like, I don't even gotta worry about nothing. I really don't wanna sh show the car too much, but I'm just gonna show you guys this one right here. Ready, ready, look, look. Damn, this looks so good. And the best part is, is, you know, I like that it has a little bit of wheel gap because I, I wanna be able to drive the car. Um, and also, it's on springs, so when you do take it off the lift, it's a little higher and then it starts to settle a little. Nothing crazy though, it's not, it doesn't get anything nuts or out of control, but man, my dream's coming true, bro. This is crazy, I can't believe my, I have these wheels on my car. Like, this is my car. 
That's crazy. I'm so happy, guys. You have no idea how freaking happy I am. Look at this shit, bro. Looks crazy. I don't want to show the car too much. It looks fucking A1 right now. I don't want to show it too much because, holy shit, it's in the background. I can't even. I'm so used to having the car behind me. I keep showing it. But damn, this shit looks so nice and meaty. It just looks perfect. It's like the nice track boy stance. It could use. I don't know if it needs like spacer and a little bit of camber, but when I do get coilovers and go a little lower, it's gonna it's gonna dial in so nicely. It's gonna look amazing. So right now, uh, what I'm gonna do now is basically continue my cinematic video for the next episode of building the E36 M3. But for the most part, that'll complete this episode today. Guys, please let me know what you guys think of these wheels on this car. Let me know what you think of the reveal video coming up next with all that cinematic shit. Let me know what you think of my new skills and my new Ronin. Here it is, right here. This thing is a freaking beast. It makes my production quality like 10 times better. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Let me know if you think I picked the right color. I think Hyper Silver looks fantastic on any color car. Um, I think the wheels just look best with this color on them. The bronze are really nice. So I almost shot it on the bronze, but I was like, nah, let me just, you know, get the silver. I do plan on getting OEM BMW center caps. I have the Apex ones, but I'm not gonna run those. I want the BMW OEM center caps. And then I also do want Apex uh, 92 or 72 millimeter. I'm not sure, uh, studs, because those look really cool and nice. And also taking the wheel on and off makes it a lot easier. I will make an installation video on that later when the car is done though. Um, we still have my LTW wing to go, my rear view mirrors, a bunch of shit that we need to put on this car. The car is almost 100% back together. I know you guys have no idea what the hell has been happening with this car because the video that putting it together has already been filmed in advance. And uh, I, I just can't show you guys it because I don't want to ruin that video. I put so much hard work into it. But guys, I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice. I am so fucking hyped. I can't wait to put this camera down and just enjoy this view. But I really want to show you guys. I really feel bad. Like, I want you guys to be hyped with me. But let me know what you think of the wheel selection down below. I know it's a safe decision and so many people have done it before. So it's not really that big of a deal. No kudos really go to me for picking these wheels. But I've always wanted these and I think they look sick on this car. It's because look at this right here. Ooh. All right, that's all you guys get, all right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Uh, let me know what you guys think again down below. Let me know. And also, let me know what you guys think of the tire stretch and everything on the car. But anyway, guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace out.